Hello everybody and welcome back. Uh, for those of you who know me, thank you for coming back. And for those of you who don't, I'm Dennis Walker. I'm a diving ops manager and um, substructure restoration specialist for National Marine and Diving. Uh, what we're doing today, we're out in Central Florida, uh, St. Cloud area, and we're doing bridge pile restoration. Uh, what we have here is a standard um, non-CP fiberglass jacket form and pile. Uh, basically what we do with this is we'll excavate, we will pressure wash clean the pile, set our standoffs, set a fiberglass jacket, and then we'll put these stiff backs around here. The reason for the stiff backs is once we go to fill this pile, the fiberglass jacket without these would once turn would oval out. Uh, we wanted this to stay nice and square, so we'll put stiff backs on, secure them with ratchet straps. Uh, that way when we put grout in these jackets, they won't turn into circles, they'll stay nice and square. There's quite a few different types of jackets. Now these again are non-structural, non-CP, standard, uh, stay in place form and pour pile jackets. Uh, this is a freshwater area behind me. CP is not typically used in freshwater areas. What I mean by CP is cathodic protection. So this is one form of jacket. There are several other forms of jackets. There are non-cathodic non jackets with that are structural, uh, which would have a steel cage inside of this. And instead of grout, it would be a 5,500 PSI concrete. Um, then there is cathodic protection jackets, both non-structural and structural. So it will be this exact same system. Uh, however, there will be an anode system attached inside of this and underneath of this, which would help prevent any future corrosion. Uh, these systems have been used throughout Florida and the country for 30 plus years. They are very popular with the Department of Transportation, especially the FDOT. Uh, we've installed this same system throughout the Southeast United States from Texas through Florida, uh, up into Georgia um, and South Carolina. This is basically a standard jacket. Uh, you can see that they've placed 10 previously. Uh, we have 20 more to do. Uh, we plan on knocking out these 20 within the next four weeks. Uh, once these are done, 72 hours on these jackets. Once these jackets are done, we'll pull off these wooden stiff backs once the grout cures. Um, and then on top of these, we'll take grout and we'll put a little 45 chamfer with grout from the jacket to the existing pile. What that does is that helps shed water. Water comes down the pile. It doesn't sit on top of these jackets. It actually runs off and runs down the jacket itself um, to help keep from puddling up top and to help slow down future erosion issues. I've been doing jackets for roughly 18 years uh, throughout Florida and the Southeast. With National Marine, we've been doing jackets for about eight years now. Uh, we also do metallizing, all substructure work, uh, spall repair, metallizing um, is a large part of our construction team crew, and then our diving team crew does everything under the water. Uh, we do these same processes, jackets and spall repair under the water as well. Just a little bit different setup, but basically wanted you guys to see what, uh, what we're working with out here. And if you have any questions, please feel free to give us a call or look us up, National Marine and Diving. Thank you and have a great day.